Hello everybody, my name is Anna and I'm 19 years old. I arrived in Europe from Nigeria alone when I was 17 years old. Today, I would like to talk to you about the experiences of guests like me traveling to Europe. The last few years I've seen a rise in the numbers of girls on the move, traveling along migration routes that are notoriously dangerous without the protection of parents or guidance. Between 2014 and 2019, more than 627,000 guests claimed asylum in Europe. More than 27,000 were unaccompanied or separated, and many more are not reflected in official statistics. Unaccompanied and separated girls are not an homogeneous group. Some may have false documents or declare that they are older. Some may be on their own but moving with groups of unrelated adults. Some may be pregnant or traveling with spouses, children, or extended family. Many are trafficked. This makes it difficult to identify them. Identification in this context is the process of establishing whether someone is under 18 and which children have been separated from their families or other caregivers. Here are 10 signs that can help identify if a girl on the move is unaccompanied. If you see a girl traveling alone, or if a girl does not have valid travel or identity documents, or has falsified documents, she might be unaccompanied or a separated child. If a girl says she's 18 or older, but she looks younger and she's unable to provide documents that prove her age, she may be unaccompanied. When reasonable, age assessment procedure should be initiated. If her answers to your questions appear well prepared and she seems vague about her journey and her circumstances, she may be unaccompanied. If a girl is married and traveling only with her spouse, she should be considered unaccompanied. This is also true if she's pregnant or has children. As always, her best interest must be determined on case-by-case -case basis. If a girl is traveling with adult companions and their age does not fit the family profile you may expect, or if she is traveling with an older man or uncle, she may be unaccompanied. If her physical features do not resemble those of her companions, or if she does not share a language, a dialect, or an accent with her companions, they may not be a family. A linguistic and cultural mediator might be able to support you on this. If a girl looks uncared for compared with other children in a family or in a group, she may be unaccompanied. If she appears upset, refuses to talk, or tries to keep her distance, she may be unaccompanied. For children traveling with someone different from their parents, links and relations must be verified and assessed in order to identify potential risk. The objective of identification is to ensure that unaccompanied boys and girls are safe from harm and receive appropriate care and assistance anti reunification or alternative long-term solutions are arranged. As frontline workers, border authorities, or reception facility staff, you can do a lot to ensure that every refugee and migrant child, girl or boy, right to be safe from harm is fulfilled. In fact, identification can happen at arrival but also through service providers or community-based mechanisms. If you think someone is unaccompanied or a separated child, contact relevant authorities or organizations for support and further action.